Hello everyone, I am Kelly of Gaming and welcome back to another iRacing Hot Lap Guided Series video. This time we are at Suzuka, of course, right now I am, like, this iRacing 2020 Season 3, I am doing the um, BMW 12.0 uh, Challenge. This week, week 3 actually, we are at Suzuka, not the Grand Prix circuit, it's the east side of the circuit, so a lap is like really short, so my best lap time so far, it's a uh, 57, uh, 53.75 or something like that, so it's pretty decent, um, not struggling as much as last week, Okayama, so um, yeah, let's head on. I guess, but before that, please be sure to smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more racing content and um, the uh, best lap file, replay file, will be down in the description below so you can check it out and uh, yeah, let's go! Okay, so here we are at the Suzuka East uh, Grand Prix circuit with the BMW GT4 and I'm here to bring you a lap around it. So first corner, braking marker is this orange arm code uh, for your braking marker of course. There isn't a turning point because you have to aim for the first apex right here, right at this point you have to aim it. Um, if you don't, you're just going to lose a bit of time, uh, it's easier to uh, struggle to get on the brakes. Technique is really to modulate the brakes here. You don't want the car to spin. Now, turn two. Um, this is, of course, the apex of turn two. Uh, so after this point, start accelerating, but be careful of oversteer and snap. It's so easy to do with this car. So, as we head to turn three, so slightly tap the brakes before hitting the apex of the corner. Remember, you can use all of the curbs right there, just use it all as we head to the snake. Uh, you don't want to put on throttle too much here. You want to set it up for the next S's. So uh, you really want to use, again, using curbs, basically just really fighting the car, as you can see right there. As we now go to turn five. Really hug the apex or just absolutely abuse the apex for to set up for the next turn. Tap the brakes slightly if you need to. But uh, I usually don't. So, again, really, this track is really be careful on the throttle input, because that will really uh, detriment your lap time if you don't do it well. As we now head to the anti-bank curb, you want to hug the apex here, you don't want to go too wide. It's going to cost you a lot of lap time. As we now head to turn seven, move to the car, move the car to the right hand side of the track as much as possible. And then after this point, you really want to turn in uh, for the apex of turn seven. Um, before now, prepare to turning in to the last curb. And then this one, try not to go too wide, as it will compromise your line into uh, last curb right now, right here. So there isn't a turning point. You have to get, uh, you have to practice to get it right. Uh, you can cut a lot of those curves there, and the technique is um, late apex. You want to hug the apex as much as possible to get a good exit, and then you want to be careful on the throttle. Uh, remember, on the throttle, you want your uh, steering wheel to be pretty much straight, and that's it. A lap of the Suzuka East circuit. So now we have the cockpit cam. Enjoy.
So that is it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy um, today's video around the Suzuka International Circuit, I think. Uh, East Circuit. And uh, yeah, it's pretty. You, you really want to nail the circuit. It's very short and uh, should be really competitive. And uh, yeah, hope this video is very useful. May, may not be very useful, but hopefully it is useful, and I hope you enjoy. And uh, before I go, please smash the like button, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!